Yo, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be using this all horn deck with Snowball. Alright, up against VIP here, so... Someone might be saying like, oh, well... You could have used Mirror or Clone. And I could have, but... Ever since I stopped using Mirror and Clone just to... You know... Make these challenges technically possible, it's just kind of like... Even if it does... Like qualify it to be possible it's just like yeah it, it just makes it more fun plus it's like either way like so what i don't have it like i only have it there just so the challenge is technically possible so that's what i have anyway i haven't seen anyone else do this if anyone has let me know because i don't want to accidentally steal someone's idea anyway so into the match here it's playing hog with he was in wizard so not too sure what this guy's uh, cooking in his head, but uh, I guess <laughs> guess we'll find out as uh, this match goes on. Okay, he's got a tombstone, so I guess we'll go P.E.K.K.A. this lane, because I don't want the tombstone distracting my P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, I think I'd for ideas for this game is getting... Uh, like I say it sometimes, like every now and then, but it's getting harder, but... Every time I say it, it gets harder because there's less ideas to think of. But I, d I just randomly thought of this one. Um, yeah. Please kill the wizard. Oh, come on, man. Okay, at least the prince dies, I, I guess. Oh my god, man. Wait, no, I was going to hit the lair in the hogs. Why? That was even worse than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully I got the perfect snowball on the wizard. Let's go, perfect snowball. Um, yeah, this is going to be really tough. I don't know how we're going to get damage. Um, once double, like, kicks around and triple, like, our defense can be really good, just because we can uh, actually play our deck. <laughs> but in terms of getting damage, Ram Rider is, like, our best hope, or E-Barbs. Yeah, we're going to have to see how this uh, all plays out here, I guess. I guess we'll go Ram. I mean, it's not going to bypass. Sorry, yeah, it's not going to bypass, but it will take care of the tombstones so that my Pekka can actually, you know, like, do something. Okay, so let's actually go E Barbs back here, and then let's go Snowball so that the wizard doesn't go for the E Barbs. Oh, E Barb, go, 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 go! Oh, let's go E Barb. That E Barb's putting in a lot of work right now. I needed that. Okay, we got the mini Pekka timing this time. Oh my god, get out of here, man. <laughs> Let's go for our ram on the back. And then we're going to go ahead and place our Pekka in front. Never mind, I was going to. But not now that he uh, went for his wizard, not really a point. Let's go for that. He might go for a hog. Yep, perfect. Minion Horde should hopefully fully take it out. This guy in his zap, uh, like, oh my god, man. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm not a fan, I'm really not. So let's go for our Mega Minion Ram Rider push. Oh, Ram Rider actually is going to bypass? Let's snowball on these e -barbs. Oh, and we hit the e -wiz. Yes, we got one more hit from that, nice. Let's go for our minions. No, 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 no. Okay, I kind of messed it up, but that's fine. Either way, he's going to fireball, so it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> okay, man. We need to... Can we please kill the tombstone? Mega Minion, Mega Minion, <laughs> why? What a stupid Mega Minion, man. This wizard just isn't going to die. Okay, I'm going to go for our P.E.K.K.A. He's probably going to zap, so I need a snowball. The one time he doesn't. You've got to be kidding me, man. Okay, let's go on over here. Please just take out the stupid tombstone, man. That's all I want, bro. Please. Please. Prediction Packer for the hog. And we got it, so hopefully it should work. It does, nice. E barbs over here. Like, I, I don't know at this point. Yeah, no, nah, we're just dead. There's. <coughs> <laughs> Nothing I can do. So that's an unfortunate matchup. I don't know what the hell that was with 
Prince of Wizard, Hog, E Wiz, E Barb's Tombstone. Such a cool deck with Fireball and Zap. I, I, I just don't really question it anymore. Alright, on to the next. Ooh, Impact of Mastery. Alright, up against Zach McCormick24 here, so. While we're playing these matches, I figured we could have a little chat about the uh, monetization of this game recently. Um, so I was going to make this into a like, separate video, but then um, <laughs> I messed up really badly on what I wanted to say, so I had to cut it. Or not cut it, but I just scrapped it. Um, anyway. So, there's some offers floating around the shop right now that are called Special Offers, and they are not special in any way, shape, or form. Uh, aside from the fact that uh, whoever buys them must be pretty special in order to purchase them. Anyway, so there's evolution shards, right? And in the shop right now, guess how much they're being priced for? For just one. Just one shard. You know, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, maybe, maybe even four dollars. If you guessed any of those, you are completely wrong. Oh my god, what is that? Of course, this goes Mega Knight back. Anyway. You would be wrong if you said any of those. Shards right now, I don't know why I did that before, are being priced at $6.99 per shard, Canadian represent. Now, just to give you like a perspective on like how much value that would used to get you, that used to be the price of the normal like old gold pass, like the really good one. So you need to pay for that six times to get one card of all. Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that is a terrible deal and you should not do that. Also, I think I could punish him. Alright, anyway, we'll see. Anyway, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that is an awful deal that I should not do. So I did the math in that video. So, one shard costs as much as an old gold pass, which I can't believe they actually thought that was a good idea. And $6.99 with taxes is $8.04. 804 times 6 is $48. Wait. Sorry, hold on. My, my brain was kind of blind. Sorry. $48.24, right? So you're paying $48 to get a card evolved. You heard that right, $48. I can't you not, man. Like, I'm trying to tell a story here, and you're just, oh, I'm going to spam Mega Knight and Bowler. Go away. Like, that is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm actually going to lose to this guy. That's crazy. Just, he's playing so bad, too. <laughs> so stupid, man. Really well played, man. <laughs> you are just a god. Like, how are you an ultimate champion? <laughs> and he went into the next match. We'll continue this there. If it let me cut, please let me cut. Our right, against King Act. So anyway, so forty-eight dollars and twenty-four cents for oh my god, forty-eight dollars twenty-four cents just to evolve one card, just just one. Like I, I don't know, like if anyone actually bought that, there probably is someone who bought it. Um, if you buy that, just. Just, like, reminding you that you are the reason that Supercell has been pricing so stupidly and they get away with it. Please do not buy those offers. They are terrible offers. And, like, they, they just aren't value. They say they're value, they're not. Everyone knows they're not. Even the people who buy the offers. Like, unless you've never played the game before. Like, you would know that that is a terrible deal. Right? Like, it's just absurd. It really is absurd that they're trying to, like, justify that. Like, it's stupid. It really is. Anyway, so rant about this game being garbage over. Let's go for a mini pack in the back. Uh, he might go hog. I doubt it. Uh, you have to be pretty dumb to hog into a mini pack. Of... Okay, we've got the double pack of push going on here. A hog is not getting a hit. And he can just go goblins, and then I'm probably not going to deal kills. Oh, thank you. Wait, the mini pecker. Mini pecker. Nice. He's just letting this mini pecker go. Okay. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm not complaining, you know. Like, I'll gladly win the lottery three times. 
I thought, all right, nice. So we actually have a chance of winning this now. This would have been like five minutes of me just trying to break through mortar firecracker, and then this guy would just go a hog and the spells and just win the match. But you let a mini packer go, so it looks like we're gonna win. Good ending. Um, yeah, I'll cut to the next one. If, can, please just let me cut, man. Alright, up against Cream slash Pinkman. I'm not really sure what that... Okay. Uh, yeah. Also... Okay, let's go Phoenix first play. Uh, it's not really that uncommon. i just kind of upset because I don't want to play a minion horde. Anyway, besides the point. Um, anyway. So there's also an offer going around the shop right now that is, like... 37 times value, which is what a great offer. I don't care if my phone battery is low. Simply just a great offer that's definitely not another scam. Is you can get a book of any type except for a book of books for the low, low price of $549. Now, for anyone here who's watching, and you stayed this far to the video because, uh, you know... A lot of people don't have good attention spans nowadays, so most of the people who watch this video probably clicked off by now. But for the people who are here and don't know, the old pass rail was six nine nine. Now I know I mentioned that, but I'm not done yet. The old pass rail was six nine nine, so a dollar and fifty cents more. Okay. For a dollar and fifty cents more, you got a coin which get you a hundred thousand gold. Uh, a book of books which would let you upgrade any type of card. Sorry, not upgrade any type of card. It would give you the amount of cards for any type of card. Champion, legendary, common, epic, rare, you name it. Right? And that was $6.99. And they want you to spend $5.49 on one book. Like, I, I, I just don't understand. Like, what are they trying to do? Also, this guy really just let me go pack of the pocket. <laughs> so, like, the, uh, yeah, this game's just in a pretty terrible state. Also, I think this guy gave up, because there's no way just let me pack of the pocket. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I want to get away with it. I don't know what Supercell's doing. Well, I don't know what they're doing. They're getting money. <laughs> uh, that much is obvious. But we're just... Like, the people... Oh, sorry, I was going to say, we are... The people who are buying these are letting Supercell get away with this. They would not do these offers if people didn't buy them. They know people are going to buy these. And people are going to buy them because these cards are overpowered. Of all Firecracker, you can be down 2,000 damage, play it once, and you'll win the game. Evolve Barbs, very hard to kill. Evolve Dergy, play them twice and you already got the Evolve version. Sorry, play them once you got the Evolve version, right? And, you know, he's just insane. And Larry's version is kind of bad. <laughs> it's really insane. Like, this game is going downhill so quick. It truly is a matter of time before it just truly crumples apart. They say all good things must come to an end. But something that is terrible will come to an end even quicker. So, uh, Hopefully they come to their senses soon, but I highly doubt it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, take care.